Hi everyone. If anybody out there is interested in building the Jerry Bates Wildcat, these are the Robart retracks that go with that plane. I'm very much interested in doing that plane, so I made the plunge and got the retracks. But before that, I've been to the flying fields and checking out different guys that had the Wildcats, and they were saying that they're having a little bit of a binding issue here and there, but overall they worked well, but you got to you know attend to them every so often. So I called Robart trying to get some videos sent out um, to see them work um, mechanically. Uh, all they really did send me was just some videos of it going up inside the plane, which was very good. I appreciate what they've done, but I wanted to see them work. So I ordered the retracks. took a little bit while for them to come in because they, they make them individually. Uh, I finally got them in, but I'm really not ready to install them in the plane yet. So I didn't want them sitting in the box in case there was an issue with them. So I decided to make this display and, and try to work with them and see what the guys were talking about, about the binding issues. So see if I can uh, solve those problems. So I got it all together and stuff like this and I got them to start working and they were going up pretty good, but I could only get them to go up every so often and, and just needed more air. So finally realizing that air wasn't the problem, that there's plenty of air with these things. The first thing that I did is I took this gear right here on the side here and I turned it around. This gear was out front here instead of being in the back here, which inlines the chain a lot nicer this way. Okay, so the gear is, is reversed around here. And then I tried them again and they were working a little bit better, no chain issues. Okay, and then, then I was noticing that these were kind of, just like anybody's going to do them, they were uh, bolted on very tight and, and no movement at all. Um, I'm noticing as they went up, it was making the wood twist a little bit which then I loosened these just ever so slightly. I'm going to put lock nuts on them to secure them so they can't get no looser, but they move just a little bit now. They've got a little bit of play in them, so as they go up, they, they can twist a little bit. Okay, and then in the back back here, the regulator is one of the main things right here. You've got to get this regulator set just right. All the way out, all the way in is not the answer. You need to set it with a servo. The servo controls how far you go in, how far it comes out not just full throws, plus you need to uh, adjust the, the air pressures uh, to get them in equally. Okay, let's try this out and I'll show you what I mean now. I got about four cycles to work with one tank of air that is about 95 pounds. Works very well, nice and smooth, they go up a little slow and then they pop up in. Let's give it a shot here. Cycle one. And then bring them down. Two, and you notice how slow they do come up. It's not lacking air, it's just the way the regulator has it set. I think this is four here. Matter of fact, let's even try five and see if we can get five out of one tank of air. And there you go. Five cycles. That's more than enough you need for a flight. Just showing all the mechanisms, guys. Um, I, I really recommend you getting these retracks if you were really thinking of building the Wildcat. All right, thank you.